Well, my name is Alyssa. I'm 22, almost 23, and um, I've lived in Concord my whole life since I was born. My mom died when I was three. She committed suicide. Uh, my dad raised us uh, with the help of my grandma. Come knocking on your door. Hand deliver those tickets, all right? More than four. Technically, April 16th, that's when they declared her brain dead because she didn't die from the overdose. She went brain dead mm -hmm. um, because she was passed out for so long. <coughs> um, and then April 18th, we cut the life, life support off. So okay. she was so funny. Like, I always wondered how, like, how did she even come up with the stuff that she said because she was so funny. But um, just, like, <coughs> little things, like different songs that we used to listen to or different sayings that will now remind me of her. Um, she used to coat herself in Victoria's Secret perfume. So, like, anytime somebody walks by and smells like that, I remember her. Um, Kylie looks just like her. So, a lot of the faces that she makes, I'm just like, you're, you're your mom. <laughs> it's really hard for an addict's family because, I mean, you feel two kinds of ways about it because it's like, you want to blame the drug, but you know it was them. They chose the drug, but it's the drug's fault. Like, you don't want to blame them because you know what kind of person they were before drugs. Um, ever since we've gotten Kylie, it's been a huge adjustment. We got her back in June, so I've had her for almost three months now. Um, I went from being a carefree 22-year-old to a mom <laughs> in three months. So um, it's hard now going to school and working and taking care of a kid, but I have a lot of help. <laughs> She's sassy as can be. Um, <coughs> so she tests my patience. I have to have a lot of patience. Um, energy is at a minimum because she likes to wake up at 6.30 in the morning. So my routine is totally different. The night that she overdosed, she had her appointment to go see Kylie the next morning. Um, and we showed up at DSS um, and had to tell them everything that happened because they didn't know. Um, but we saw her that morning. She didn't seem confused as to, you know, where's my mommy. She couldn't really talk at the time, you know, so she can't say, where's my mommy. So she was 11 months. Um, and then, so she, she just barely missed her first birthday. But she had been bounced from so many people, um, that it was kind of like, and she was only seeing Jennifer for an hour a week, so it wasn't like she all of a sudden was confused or had any kind of behavioral problems or anything like that. She's adjusted really, really well. Um, and she's so people friendly um, because she was with so many different people. I think if we could cut down on the heroin traffic in the United States in general, um, cut down on penalties for people who deal it or sell it or whatever, um, that maybe that would help. Um, <clears throat> as far as people using it, I mean, I really don't know how you can help people because first off, they have to want to help themselves.